Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back in my campaign of uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Last time we started to explore the villa of Mr. Um, Horgus something. Uh, we found some minor demons. Not really strong enemies. I mean, a bit strong. The last fight was level 7 Slayer. <sighs> well, probably not. Where's the Slayer? Gone. There it is. Cambion Ranger? Really? We can't see the Slayer anymore? Hmm. Yeah, whatever. He could have made uh, some damage, but we killed him before he made damage. Okay, let's open. I think this is the last room where we... No, probably not. Who knows? Yeah. We, we should call Horgus. Okay, let's do this first. Nah, yeah, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Ooh, there is something bad. What was that? I didn't see it. I mean... At least I don't see it here. Pick, kill. Oh, there it is. Good. There's some more monsters. Wolchif. Right? A Babao. Whatever a Babao is. A chaotic evil outsider. Level 7. Spell resistance 17. Damage reduction 10. Exceptions good or cold iron mist. See, I should have stayed with him. <laughs> you won't survive me. Okay, let's do a bit. Ah, okay. It's just in this general area. Okay, you can try to kill mm. yeah you probably can't kill it but it's better it kills you than Wolchif because Wolchif can make real damage and there comes the pig again okay, you'll have to kill this first I, ah, you don't have the cold iron weapon. You've got the... What's this? This is the heavy mace of fire. And you have a cold iron sword. Hmm? Do you have cold iron weapons? What's that? Cold iron short spare. Let's try this one. Hmm, probably not the best idea. Mm hmm. Let's do this on Amelia. Yeah. You, please do this on the bubble. 
Mm -hmm. So we hit in here. Let's try this way. Okay. And no. You'll kill this guy. You'll kill this guy, and you... <laughs> make a sneak attack. You can make a sneak attack with a short spare. That's nice. This. <laughs> Chrome family secret, so... Um... Yeah, that's nice. Let's see. Nothing there. At least nothing interesting. Um, an old map of Aviston. Okay. Ooh, it's a trap. Yes, I appreciate this a lot. Especially because there is a short bow inside, a magical short bow. Received item, counterfeit Derek Sunhammer's jewelry. Ooh, an item of interest to a craftsman or a collector. A merchant would pay well for it. Ah, Derek Sunhammer's jewelry. This is the thing we are looking for. This is the jewelry we are, we try to get. Let's see, short bow of code. Enhancement plus one. This plus one short bow grants its very a plus one bonus on attack rolls against chaotic creatures. Interesting. Uh, Len, you have a... In an entrapping long bow. Yeah, that's better than the short bow. So the short bow will be money. So you. The world's not ending just yet. Uh, let's heal. And let's try it again. Yeah, this sounds better. Mm -hmm. Everyone smile because we found stuff. There's more stuff. More stuff. Silver disc, copper ring. Let's collect all. Yeah, I think we found everything, and now we can give a signal to Horgus. And let's see, what's the family secret? The danger has passed. They have landed at last. The mention is clear. You are whatever. Ooh, Camellia is helping him. My secret door remains unopened. Fantastic. It wasn't too late. Ooh, fancy. If you think the family secret's about to be revealed, it's so thrilling. Uh, okay. What a find. Spots a secret door? Really? I mean, he just opened it in front of you. <laughs> Ooh, more stuff. Let's loot this. Ooh, breastplate. Magical. Plus one. Yeah, not that good. Okay, what's that? The painting depicts a thin blonde boy with sickly pale skin. The caption reads August Squirm, nine years of age. 
Oh, and uh, what's that? A happy family, Horgus, an unknown half-elf, and their dark-haired young daughter. The painting is captioned, Horgus, Quirm, Iris, and Camellia. So Camellia is the daughter of Horgus, Quirm. Ha! What a family secret. The paintings are right where I left them. Very good. Horgus, Quirm, thanks you for your help. Yeah. Succeeded at a perception check. Really? We needed a succession check? Uh, perception check? There's something off about the paintings in front of you. The blonde-haired boy in Quirm family colors doesn't look like Horgus in the least. Ah. He's not the real Horgus Quirm. <laughs> um, the family portrait depicts Horgus alongside an unknown half-elf woman and a little girl who bears a striking resemblance to Camellia. Who's that in the paintings, Horgus? So you've noticed. It seems there's no point in hiding it anymore. Horgus is silent for a few moments, then sighs and presses his lips into a hard line. You see, I have two secrets. Camellia is, in fact, my daughter, and I'm not the real Horgus Quirm. Okay. You're not Horgus Quirm. I mean, it would be easy to destroy the evidence, like... Yeah. Burn the painting or something. <laughs> uh, my real name is Darian Witt or White. My parents were the servants of the real Quirms at their mansion on the eastern edge of Mendeth. The Quirms were generous and noble, but short-sighted. They burned through most of their fortune on charity. So he's not really the good guy, but the real Hawkers Quirm was the good guy, when instead they should have taken better care of guarding the mansion. When I was ten or so, I used to play in the garden with the real Horgus Quirm, who was just my age. I have no idea where the demons came from. Horgus ran to the mansion and I bolted in the opposite direction. He was captured and killed and I wasn't. Horgus shrugs apologetically. Crusaders came from the nearest city to aid us, but I was the only one who survived. They asked me my name and I said I was Horgus Quirm. That's the whole story. Okay. Bad boy. Such a heart-wrenching tale. It never fails to bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> you are in no position to judge me, Camellia. August's hands curl into fists. But his voice sounds more tired than angry. You are right, I am not. Darren's expression is strained as he listens to Horgus's confession. Small boy in a manor under attack by demons. Such a familiar tale. Ah, yeah, it's like him. Mendeth was has many such tales, but there are rarely any survivors. Take poor Horgus, for instance. He didn't make it. You were fortunate, Count. Assuming you are not hiding anything. August gives an awkward shrug, making it clear he was speaking in jest. Okay, we must do an evil thing next, because we did a good thing last time, I think. Um, it was too long ago. I think we are one good ahead, so we can't take the good. You were just a scared child. I have nothing but sympathy for you. Besides, your lies didn't hurt anyone. Lawful, what you've done is wrong. People deserve to know the truth. Or chaotic, a golden opportunity fell right into your lap. There's nothing shameful in seizing your chance for a better life. Or, your past is your own business, not mine. Okay, that's neutral. Enough for me. Thank you. Remembering mistakes made in one's childhood is no easy task. Mm-hmm. Mm. What's our job then? 
It is difficult for me to speak openly about secrets, which I have kept all these years. I have been hostage to them my entire life, strange as that sounds. Okay. What do we ask him next? Uh, I mean, this is obvious, and why should we ask that? Because there is some dialogue behind it, probably that's the reason why. Uh, what's it like to live your whole life under someone else's name? What are you planning to do now? Um, prepare to die. <laughs> I see, okay. Yeah, let's do this dialogue stuff. Why not? <laughs> yes, illeg illegitimate, that is to say. August's cheeks redden. She has resided in this house since birth. The staff thought she was a niece or the daughter of a friend who died in the Crusades. I never disabused them of their notions. Her mother, Iris, was a half-elf of humble origins. She worked in the gardens here. I wanted to unite the Gwerm, fa Gwerm family with another noble line. The Gwerm name could not be permitted to mix with corners and thereby plunge into inefficiency. That could explain the reason why Camellia is quite some edgy. <laughs> Iris did not protest and we successfully hid our connection. When Camellia was born, I did not claim her as my own. As far as Mendeth knows, Camellia is the daughter of a Quirm family servant who died over ten years ago. And before you start telling me what a terrible father I am, I want to tell you something. My daughter wanted for nothing. All her whims were fulfilled as quickly as they arose. I hired the best teachers and bought her the best books. She always ate well and had warm clothes, but she didn't have family. Hmm? Think about that. Isn't that what a parent does? Eh. You've discovered my most terrible secret. Father cares so much about the Gwurm name that he raised me in our mansion, hiding me away from the whole world. I'll always be grateful to my father for everything he's done for me, even if Mendev's society disapproves of some of his decisions. Would it be insolent of me to beg for your discretion regarding what you know about us? Really? I thought you were a cynical little monster. <laughs> Damn it all, and I fought Horgus as dull as ditch water. Now he brings this delightful offering of a an identity, a secret half-elf lover, and a bastard daughter. I'm afraid you'd rather put me to shame. Uh, even my new friend is, is delighted. Uh, yeah, well, whom should we tell? We don't know anyway, anyone anyway, so... Aren't you afraid I'll tell... Uh, are you threatening me? Red blotches instantly appear in Horvath's face. I'm not afraid. After today, you won't have a shred of proof. You will. Who will people believe? A noble citizen of Kinabris or a mercenary blow-in? Yeah, now you are... Uh, I would ask that you keep the secrets of the Quirm family in confidence. I would hate to end our fledgling friendship over this. What's it like to live your whole life? Uh, blah, blah, blah. When I was a boy, I used to hate Horgus, the condescension, most of all. The pity on his face, his smile when he called me to join him in his games. The difference in our birthright wasn't fair. Envy clouded my mind. When the demons killed him and not me, and I thought it was a gift of fate, I seized my good fortune with both hands and never let go. When I told them my name was Horgus Quirm, the only heir to the vast fortune of the Quirm family, on that day, life was fair. I mean, there must have been someone who knew the little Quirm boy. I mean, they were rich, and he was already ten years old. 
they must have seen any other people then. <laughs> this is not very believable, this story. Unfortunately, it took me many years to see the generosity behind the condescension and feel the compassion behind the pity. I discovered far too late that Horgus was my friend, even when I didn't feel myself is. I never accepted the hand of friendship he offered until it was far too late. But now, what can I do? Reveal the truth, reject the name and allow it to sink into oblivion? Would my friend Horgus want this? He's dead. I don't think that he wants anything. I bear the name of Horgus Worm with the pride and dignity it deserves. As a banner on a battlefield, I will multiply its merits. The Worm family will not be forgotten. Yeah, whatever. I still serve Horgus Worm. Horgus attempts a smile, but the result is pathetic. Okay, let's ask him what he'll do now. Well, first and foremost, I shall reward you handsomely for your help. And then I shall burn these portraits. I mean, you should have done this much longer before. Especially the portrait of you as a boy. That wasn't you. And how can you have a, a picture of you and your spouse, who was uh, a gardener... <laughs> How could this have happened? My ravaged home will likely be picked to the bone, and the secret room will inevitably be discovered. I don't want these paintings to be seen by anyone else. Okay, I see. Whatever. We don't attack him. We get the coin, and we got some XP by doing so. Well, you certainly earned your payment. Here, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Amelia, I can tell from your face that you enjoyed fighting the demons in the worthy party. I only ask one thing, are you certain? Camellia doesn't answer but looks at Horus with a half smile lingering on her lips. Well then, clearly I can no longer keep you safe. Our house is destroyed, our servants scattered or dead. Horus stares into his daughter's face as though he is seeking the answer to an unasked question. Then he turns his attention to you, but now, follow me, we'll make sure that no one ever again discovers the secrets, secret, secrets of August. Okay. Yeah, well. Well done. <clears throat> Would have liked this painting as well. This was nice in um, in Divinity. You could sell everything. You could take all these painting stuffs and sell it. Is there some way around there? Like ah no, that's not, not the place we want to go. We want to go inside here. I mean, I want to enter this room because it says I can't enter the room and I see that there is a room inside. <laughs> I mean, ah, that's not okay. Let's go back to the first floor. And Let's move outside. That's that. Let's move out. I don't think that we need anything here. Yeah, let's collect everything. 
Ah, and also time's up. Yep, this was not very interesting. But at least we got some stuff. Quirms mention. Failed ritual site. Ah. We are there. Tiropage residence. Why do we have to go all around there? Hmm, interesting. Uh, this is just stuff we find, probably. Like, here. The duelists, and, like, here. The fallen horse. Um, yeah, let's move there. Two hours, really? <sighs> yeah, let's see, wait then. I don't want to fight someone. <clears throat> and let's continue, come on. Move it. Yeah, as I said, we get stuff. <laughs> Tirabate residents. Despite their high standing in the city, the Tirabate family lived in a simple house far away from the wealthy neighborhoods. Most of the houses. Who's Tirabate? <laughs> Most of the houses on the streets are now ruined and abandoned. But this one seems intact, although the broken door makes one wonder if there's still anything of value in left inside. Ah, that's probably also just some. Some stuff like that. Um, although, probably not. I don't know. We need to go to the... To this place and to this place. And, yeah. Anyway, we'll do this in the next... Um, in the next episode. We'll, I'll probably go to the Defender's Heart in between episodes before going to the Blackwing Library next Till then, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.